very nice question look at this question guys if you have solved it good enough if you have not solved it let's see okay when 907 is divided by two two digit numbers here okay there's a question says that actually yeah just a minute huh so when nine when 907 is divided by two two digit numbers n and n plus two the remainder obtained in both the cases is x then then the value of x for the maximum possible value of n is what okay fine now look at this guys look such a nice question it is now can i write this 907 is divided by two two eight numbers two two digit numbers n and n plus two okay and remainder obtained in both the cases is x so can i write directly that number i know is what divisor into quotient plus remainder right so can I directly write that number is year 907 huh? divisors are n and n plus 2 both both are divisors right uh, and then this uh, basically some with some constant right quotient it's say k uh, k1 and k2 plus r so actually what this step is actually this step have combined two steps here right if you break it down I'll just make you understand this right if you break it down how do you write this 907 divided by 2 root number n least remainder of x so what is the step guys number is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder what is the number here number here is 907 is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder what is divisor here divisor is n what is quotient let's say k1 and is the remainder r okay this is the equation one right similarly if i see second equation this divisor is n plus 2 uh, quotient is k2 let's say and this remainder is r right so i'm just combining these two equations right so I, while combining how you can write here 907 is equal to n into n plus 2 into some k1 k2 plus r right because it won't affect right because the question says that now let's say this is my number okay understand this right let's say this is my number if i divide this number by n if i divide this number by n okay so this n by n remainder will be 0 uh, and remainder is r or if i divide, divide this by n plus 2 n plus 2 by n plus remainder is 0 and again r is remainder right so it's satisfying both the cases okay so absolutely no issue with this we can actually go ahead with this right and this is the way i can combine these two also okay fine so if i write this guys okay uh, n plus 2 here fine n plus 2 k1 into k2 plus r okay now here the because i have to uh, uh, find the uh, this uh, maximum value of n here right so that means this k1 k2 is of no use here okay i can directly put it to one actually fine because uh, the quotient here i want the multiples of this this to be multiples here right so for this to be multiples i have to find the maximum possible value of n I have to maximize n right so let's say quotient is one only right so just remove the k1 k2 those are quotient right that is of no use actually fine so my equation reduces to what understand this now 907 is equal to n into n plus 2 plus r okay and it should remember is x here right put r equal to x now i can put r is equal to x okay now i can write n into n plus 2 is equal to some 907 minus x right now understand this part guys okay always solve this is open mind these questions right if you understand this part here so n into n plus 2 is 907 minus x okay x is some remainder i know n and n plus 2 both are two read numbers so if both are two read numbers so both are integers so this there also should be integer only remainder anyhow is integer in the, uh, so 907 minus x okay so now what is the value of x i'm putting right so i want this i want now x is something like x could be 5 10 15 anything right i don't know okay so but can i say that can you observe one thing okay, this value will be near to 900 can you observe this right huh that this value will be near to 900 if this value is near to 900 can i factorize this into two parts such that difference between n and n plus 2 is 2 right so a multiple of uh, this uh, uh, this not multiple actually a number near to 900 which are 
multiplication of two natural numbers two two read numbers having difference of two so if i try to approximate it guys okay let's see this okay if i try to approximate it it is actually around 30 into 30 will roughly give me 900 right okay so from here i'll get an idea that 31 into 29 if i increase 30 by 1 plus 1 and decrease 30 by minus 1 right so it's going to 31 into 29 or as per the order if i write here okay so as per the order if i write here that is 29 into 31 n is 29 n plus 2 is 31 is equal to 907 minus x if you solve it guys so 29 into 31 is basically what uh, this is 7 uh, this is actually 8 this is 899 so 899 is equal to 907 minus 6 therefore x should be equal to what x should be equal to 8 correct so, and i don't think any, any other value satisfy here because the both the value has to be near to be near to 30 the answer has to be near to 900 so only one possibility increase one decrease one from 30 so 29 into 31 will actually satisfy this right so the well, question was what is the maximum possible value of n okay so the maximum possible uh so what is the value of x for the maximum possible value of n so that's why we had to maximize n so that's why i took k1 k2 as 1 because let's say if i have to multiply right, i take a multiple what are k1 k2 k1 k2 are multiples right some n into k1 okay so if it is some n into k1 if i maxi want to maximize n then put a least multiple right so let's say i put k1 equal to 1 same way k2 equal to 1 right so like this i proceeded and i saw that this is the equation here n into n plus 2 is equal to 9 0 7 minus x that means 29 and 31 will all satisfy this we can solve by common sense actually okay then x is equal to 8 so x is 8 is the answer correct okay so i hope all of you got this right so it's a very nice uh, funda okay very good uh, very good question actually okay and also also this combat guys okay so this uh, combat uh, you know it's a very good test series it contains some good high quality questions okay so their easy questions are, are not asked here so it basically it contains only good uh, medium and high quality questions with some uh, very advanced concepts okay and uh, uh, this from this sunday onwards it is in basically revised format so basically we are mo moving closer to cat right now so in january february and march we were like away uh, we are around eight to ten months away from cat so the questions we put off maybe some uh, easier or medium level right but this from now onwards the questions will be of higher higher level okay and uh, all the LRDA sets also um, this quant questions also and basically it's a fun it's fun right actually giving this is a fun because after every question you get you get, get, get your live ranking okay then uh, after every question the faster you answer the better your the better your rank is right you get more points so actually those one hour test is a fun and actually if you look at the cat you should give a uh, multiple uh, sectional tests and test before cat okay and this is one of your high quality tests absolutely free of cost and uh, now from uh, earlier it was not that rewarding but now they have introduced some uh, great rewards in this i think okay so rank one two three one year subscription i think around twenty thousand or 75 percent scholarship or 50 percent so it's a great prizes are on offer here okay so get it live from your mobile app you just put the uh, link here i'll uh, this uh, invite code you can put here ravi roda it ask you for invite code it is absolutely absolutely free of cost okay ask you for invite code put ravi roda and the link i'll put in description just enroll from there okay and do give this every sunday do give this at 12 pm it's on every sunday okay so every sunday give this on 12 pm thank you